So in this video I'm going to show you how to create your Navajo sand painting. So the first thing you need to decide is what symbols you want to use and what story or what you're going to represent on your board. So I am going to be creating my symbols to represent um, happiness or joy and friendship. So sort of the joy of friendship. Um, so I know that the Hohokam um, flute player that we drew earlier um, is a symbol of joy. So I'm going to start by drawing that symbol on here. And I'm just drawing with pencil to begin with. So I'm going to draw a Hohokam flute player the same way that I drew it before. And you can see it's kind of hard to see my design on the screen because with a pencil on cardboard it doesn't show up so well. Um, but you can go ahead and draw your design on your cardboard. And I just want to point out that you want to make your lines thicker than you think you're going to need them. So I drew this all in pencil and you can see the design like that. Um, but then when I go to um, actually before I start to glue and put the sand on, I'm going to actually trace over it with permanent marker to make sure my lines are thick enough that I'll have room for everything. So I'm doing it about joy, like I said, but I also want to show friendship. So I know um, that arrows that cross each other show friendship. So I'm going to add some arrows that cross each other right here. I'm going to create an arrow looking design here and I'm going to draw another one that crosses over it like this. To make my two arrows crossing each other and then um, I think I'm going to do the same thing down here arrows crossing each other down here as well. So you need to decide what your design is going to represent, what symbols you're going to use to show that, and then draw them on your board with pencil. Um, once you have it done in pencil, you are going to take and trace over it with a permanent marker. So make sure you have it the way you want. Again, it's on cardboard, so if you make a mistake, I notice this one's a little longer than I want, you can just erase it and draw your design in the way you want, just like you would on paper. And then I'm going to trace it with my permanent marker. So I'm going to go right over top of the design. And I want to make sure that the design is thick enough that I'm going to be able to paint it on with glue. So I'm going to make my design a little thicker, like widen all of my lines up. So I'm going to have to change my design a little bit just to make sure that I'm actually able to trace it when I'm done. So it's okay to modify it to make it work for your final design. I'm going to thicken all those lines up and color or and trace all the parts that I want before I start to glue anything so that I make sure that I'm able to draw the whole design that I want. And then I'm going to trace over all of my other parts as well so that the whole thing is nice and thick. Thicken up the neckline. And this whole part, I don't need to color this all in, but I know that this whole section is going to be colored in. So.
and then I'm going to thicken up these lines. And I'm going to have to make my hand come out a little further like that in order to be able to fit that flute in there. I'm going to thicken up the other arm. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because you know that it's going to be painted over again. So if you make a little mistake or something when you go to paint over it, you can just not paint that part that you made a mistake on. But this is going to act as a guide for you to make sure that you know what you're doing and you're not just drawing it and then finding out that when after you glued the sand down that it's not the way you wanted it because that will cause issues. It'll make it a lot harder to fix. There's not really any way to go back over it. So I'm going to fill in those, really thicken the line up. The whole thing. So that it's ready to go. for my final sand painting. So go ahead and draw your designs on your cardboard. Trace over them with permanent marker once you have them the way you want. And then check your design to make sure that it's what you want before you start to put the sand on. So make sure that you fill it up the way you want, that it's all um, designed exactly how you want. I think I'm going to add some design in the background, so I'm going to add I know they use a lot of like a triangle type design, so I'm going to add some designs in the background that have some very geometric designs. And you can look up um, more Native American symbols on your iPad if you want to add some designs but you're not quite sure what you're going to add. You can always add those look those up and add those other designs that you've researched to the design that you started. And then I think that that's how I'm going to do it for now. And then I'm going to make sure that I know that this whole section is going to be colored in so I can as well. That I know. So that's all part of the same design. So I have my design all drawn out and I am ready to start with sand. So draw your design, trace it with a permanent marker, and then um, you can